Hey, hello everyone, this is Carlos again, and welcome to the second part of this tutorial about using Cardano Note 10 for one with UTXO HD, this time with the on disk backend. As before, we are going to need a couple of things. We're going to change a little bit our configuration file, and then we're going to convert our snapshot so that it is usable by our node. And we will, with that, we will be able to skip the ledger replay, which on mainnet takes several hours. It's a little bit faster on other networks, like on preview, what I am using now, it would take uh, the replay probably somewhere around 30 minutes, but still a long time. So sometimes it might be, in particular, when we are thinking on going to mainnet, uh, being familiar with this method is very, very effective. So now uh, let's start with something that I want to show you for demonstration purposes. And let me just bring this thing here. I want to sh show you the resource utilization of this Cardano node on preview network. It's using 1.9 gigabytes in uh, memory. It's not that much, it's preview testnet, it's fine. We wish we could run Cardano node on mainnet with this uh, resource utilization, but um, well, this is the case for preview. Um, just for the record, 1.9 gigabytes, okay? So let me just now uh, minimize this. And the first thing that I want to do is actually tweak a little bit my, my configuration file, but perhaps I'm gonna stop my node for now. And let's come to the configuration file. And here is the idea. Within memory, we use the V2 in memory as a backend. With LMDB, this is the on-disk backend, we will use V1 LMDB. So let me just copy this so that I don't make any mistakes. And boom, there you go. We will need a small comma over here. And we are going to actually use a few more um, uh, fields in our configuration file. And uh, let me just grab that and bring them here. So we have a flush frequency, the number of immutable blocks that need to exist before the flush. We flush the sequence of differences to the disk. And the map size, this is the LMDB needs to be given the desired map size which, with which the database is open. See the LMDB docs. By default, we set this value to 16. Of course, this will be too much, uh, probably for preview, but this is considering the defaults for mainnet. So for now, we're gonna just stick with this default, so it should be a hundred here. 16 gigabytes here. Of course, we know that it will be too much for preview, but who cares for now? And this one is so important because there is a default for, for the live tables path. And it is where actually we will store our, our live tables. And there is a default, but I, I'm going to actually change this to be the by uh, just in the same location where I have the rest of the files. It's under DB, LMDB. This is relative to where the node starts. And basically, this is, I think, it. Just make sure that you have an SSD, a solid state disk, as opposed to just a hard drive. And that is, you don't want the spinning one, you want the solid state one. Uh, and this is it, this is the changes for our configuration file. So now, uh, let's go back to the terminal, and as before, we are gonna use the converter, the snapshot converter. So let me just go to uh, uh, my DB folder here, and you may remember they have the ledger backup and the ledger. So the ledger currently has the files with the in-memory backend, so, just a quick check. So let me just rm rf ledger. So I'm gonna clean up my ledger directory. Uh, ls ledger, sorry. Yeah, it's empty. So now I'm going to move into my ledger backup. Uh, so yes, I was experimenting a little bit before. So let me just remove this so that uh, we start from a clean slate. So right now what we have here is the oops, snapshots from 
10.3.1 version that I was running before we started with these tutorials. We created our, we converted the snapshot to the in-memory backend. And now we're gonna use the converter again uh, with uh, for the, on this backend. You cannot use the same snapshot converter, the converted snapshot for the in-memory backend with the on disk and vice versa. You need to convert it depending on what's the backend that you're going to use. So let me just uh, snapshot converter. Let me probably just as a refresher, remove all of this and run the help. So we remember, we need a format in, this will be legacy. We need the path in, uh, let me just ls db ledger backup, just to have it as a refresher here. We will use this last snapshot from the uh, legacy backend we need a format output it will be lmdb in this case a path output it will be again a directory a command cardano and the path to the configuration file so this is what we're going to do so legacy is our input format we're going to use this latest snapshot now we are going to use uh, the LMDB. This is our output format. We are going to use the same name, A1099296 underscore LMDB this time. Command Cardano, config, and the path to the configuration file, which from here for me it is config, config.json. And this is to the um, configuration file that we just modified a minute ago. So when I just run this command, it will again load the snapshot, uh, convert it, write it down to the on disk or LMDB format this time. If I do ls, we have the LMDB here. And if I do ls, let me just cd81, blah, 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 lm will show you that if you get meta, it will tell you that this is a snapshot for LMDB. It is important because uh, if you go to the other one for memory, cat meta, it will tell you that it is for the in-memory backend, okay? So let me just get back here, probably one level up, and let me just copy ledger backup, this one, And we will need a dash r because that's our directory, so that it's recursive. And now we're gonna copy it into ledger. Something like this. It should be good. Unless ledger, remember that we have cleaned it up. Now it has our converted snapshot. And because we have already modified our configuration file, let me just make sure that I save it. I can now start my node and this time it will initialize uh, using the on disk backend. As usual, it's, it's normal a small replay, but not from Genesis, just from the very latest few uh, slots. And from here, we should be able to query the tip again and we are in sync. That means that we are back and running. So let's see for block 863. Let me just come here and we go to Cardano scan. Let's find the blocks. What is our latest block here? What's the latest block they have? Oops. 6-1, I'm a little bit ahead. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, in the meantime, well, they'll pick up the new block. Let me just show you the resource utilization of this Cardano node now with the on-disk backend. Remember, it was 
1.9 gigabytes and now it's only 738 megabytes. Of course, this is preview. This is, you cannot expect this for mainnet, but you should expect a very nice resource utilization, uh, in particular for memory, uh, when you run the, on this backend. Um, even for mainnet, it will be very, very nice uh, upgrade. Now let me just go to, okay, come on, are you serious? Give me one more block. There you go. So the block hash CD3DF, CD3DF. So we are a head explorer. We have our node working with the on disk version or backend, and our resource utilization dropped significantly. So yeah, this is it. Thank you very much for joining in the second part. And well, again, please give it a try. Please give it a try on pre-production, even go to mainnet, just do not use it as a block producer or as a, or as a relay. In particular, not the, uh, the on-disk uh, version because, well, it is not designed for that. Block producer should still use the in-memory backend. And uh, well, Thank you very much. See you. See you next time.